The work is based on four distinct musical motives stated in the first four bars. Each motive is characterised by its rhythmic construction. Motive Z is a dotted minim followed by a crotchet. Motive Y is a minim followed by a crotchet. Motive X is a crotchet rest followed by three crotchets. Motive W is a dotted crotchet followed by a quaver and a crotchet. In bars 5 to 8, Z and Y are repeated, transposed up a major second. X and W are repeated with variation at a higher pitch. Note how the bass has the function of anticipating the X motif. The closing passage of the A section, bars 9 to 12, sees three of the four motifs in reverse order. X y and z In bars 12 to 16, the motifs are further reordered, X, W and Z. The bass continues to anticipate the X motif. Here, Bruckner allows the music to gain momentum by extending the tessitura of the voices upwards. In the C section, starting at bar 21, the texture is reduced to three-part homophony of soprano, alto and tenor. In bars 21 to 23, the motifs are modified. X1 gains a crotchet, whilst W1 diminishes the dotted rhythm to a dotted quaver and semiquaver. 
This material is dovetailed in a sequence of Phrygian cadences. <laughs> In bars 26 to 29, Z, X and W are employed to close the C section, followed by a two-beat rest. At the close of the A1 section, at bars 40 to 42, the Z motif is employed, followed by a bar of silence. In the coda at bars 44 to 48, X is employed, ending with W augmented.